In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to apply a scale-based display filter. So display filters are queries that limit which features of a layer are dis which features on a layer are going to be displayed, and they can be determined either by a scale-based display filter or a manual display filter. They differ from definition queries in that the display filters impact the display only. So the features are filtered from the display so that they're hidden. Uh, however, those features are still available in the attribute table and they're still available for queries and doing analysis. All we're going to do with these display filters is just filter them out from the display so that you're not seeing them. All right, and uh, so there's a, there's a button on the Symbology tab, and this is actually present at version 2.6 of ArcGIS Pro. So if you're working with prior versions of ArcGIS Pro, you, you may not see this, or it may be located in a different, a different place. But as long as you're using version 2.6 of ArcGIS Pro, there's going to be a button here called Display Filters. Now, the first thing you'll want to do here, I've already got some display filters that I've, I've enabled here, so we're going to we're come back to that in a future demonstration. But the first thing you need to do is enable display filters. So if you click on Enable, uh, that brings up uh, your your options here and so your options are by scale or by manually setting display filters in this particular demonstration we're focusing on scale based display filters all right so initially you'll notice that um, all of our features are being displayed all of our parcels are being displayed now we set uh, we've set some um, some transparency on some of these symbol classes in a previous demonstration where we were uh, setting the transparency value pretty high for low, medium, low, and medium categories so that they are uh, not as enhanced as these higher categories, high and very high. The high and very high categories don't have a transparency applied, so they're standing out more. However, all of these features are being displayed um, currently. So what we're going to do with this display filter is we're going to filter this out a little bit. And so in this case, uh, what we want to do is we want to set a scale-based display filter and what we're going to do is we're going to display features where the market value is greater than five hundred thousand dollars and the map scale is less than one to fifty thousand so this implies two activities right or two things that we need to do the first is to, to set the scale range and so um, I've set by scale so I'm just going to pick up my left thumb here and drag it <clears throat> until it gets to one to fifty thousand all right, so that's the first thing that you need to do. You know, you'll notice your features are still displaying. Of course, we're, we're zoomed out pretty far at this point. Next thing you need to do, though, is to, uh, to show the query. And so we'll click the plus button here, click new expression, and then we're going to define uh, our expression. So in this case, market value is greater than or equal to, and we're going to set that to 5. 100, 1, 2, 3, 500,000. And then we'll apply it. And then now as you zoom in, now we get it to under 50,000. So you'll see with your map scale below 50,000, I maybe want to zoom out a little bit more here. All right? But what this is doing now is it's, it's ensuring that uh, only features um, that are greater than or equal to $500,000 in terms of the market value, only those features are going to display once I'm inside of 50,000, 1 to 50,000 is my scale. And I am in this case, I'm at 1 to 41,334. But you can see those parcels that are less than 500,000 are no longer drawing. Right? So as I zoom in, I zoom out, you can see that display point. So as I go over 50,000, then those features are going to be displayed again. The zoom in, then they turn off. All right, so that's what we call setting a scale-based display filter. In the next demonstration, we'll look at creating a manual uh, display filter.